and welcome to the first episode of Minecraft Evolution, where we, a group of YouTubers, are going to be reliving Minecraft from some of its earliest versions, and we are in Minecraft mm -hmm. Beta. 1.2 which was released in the beginning of 2011 so this version is six years old pretty cool huh right like it's old. very cool wow. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up that chicken behind you <laughs> oh <laughs> behind mini <laughs> behind mini <laughs> yeah He's one's laying an egg here mate we're <laughs> going crazy no, you are. You're legit going crazy. There's a ghost chicken there. There's a ghost chicken right here. I don't see a chicken. I'm sure Minecraft there is. <laughs> Dylan's going to be right back after she's taking her medicine. Um, I think Sailor's brain got warped. Time travel. Okay. She's okay. Sorry, Just I'm hit sorry. her back into the sense. There you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's probably not crazy because these early versions were incredibly buggy and we are likely to come across many of them in this series. So I should probably introduce everyone that's here. We have Salem's Lady, Netty Plays, In the Hi. Little Wood, Big B Hello. Stats, Solidarity Gaming. Oh, I did I? I butchered that one. Solidarity Gaming, <laughs> Mini Mooka, Tomahawk, and System Z. Now, Hello. it cannot have escaped your attention that some of us have skins and some of us have the wrong skins. <laughs> so you might notice that I'm a very old and skin. And some of us has capes and some of us don't. Oh, just me. Oh, oh. 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 No need to burn hey, your off the island. And that means me. I'm the leader. <laughs> Basically, this version's so old that it doesn't register the skins in the same way that it does now. So some of us have not got any skins. Uh, I've got my old mm -hmm. one, Tom Hawksway's old one. So basically, you know who the veterans are if they haven't got their current skin. And we know who the newbies <laughs> are if they have got their skin. <clears throat> Nettie, <laughs> when, when did you join it? When did you start playing Minecraft, Nettie? couple of years ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so for some of us, this is going to be an entirely new experience. For some of us, it's going to be reliving some memories. So I'm pretty sure we can pull some old pranks using some very fun glitches that used to be in the game, but they were no, no fire though. No fire. No fire. <laughs> no fire. No fire. No fire. No. <laughs> that will not one. So that's it. We're in beta. And I think this is where we all go our separate ways and make this place home. Superhero exit! <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the cape doesn't give you flying abilities, I forgot. <laughs> you just hey, you. I was going this way. So, everyone's gone off. This is my first SMP ever, unless you count Arcus, which uh, didn't go my way, which is why it stopped. And this is actually a bit more comfortable for me, being in Minecraft beta. Literally because this is what I kind of grew up on in Minecraft. This is the versions that were ingrained in my mind. Like, I haven't played normal survival in so many years that this is more familiar to me than the most recent games. But the thing is, not everyone on this server, the SMP, has actually played uh, the old versions. So, while this is comfortable for me and I can go over all of the differences and Together we can see all the wacky bugs that we're definitely, definitely going to abuse and make some traps out of and all sorts. Uh, but for people like Nettie and, uh, and Solidarity and stuff, they haven't played this old version. So I'm guessing they're going to die quite a lot because this game is difficult. It's much, much harder. And there's a few very simple reasons. It's not because the mobs are stronger. It's just it's a little bit more on the buggy side. You, one of the things you might already notice is that there's no hunger bar because there's no hunger. You can't sprint and you don't eat to replenish hunger. You literally eat and you regain hearts. Mobs kind of uh, just hit you repeatedly in a cycle that you can't escape. And like if you get overwhelmed, you are almost certainly going to die. So there's all sorts of reasons why this uh, this version is particularly difficult. I don't know why I did that. What I really wanted was a, was a crafting table, so I've left my mark on the world already. Uh, I should probably clean that up. Right, let's get ourselves a wooden sword so we can kill some stuff. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to go through the very basics of Minecraft punching a tree, getting our cobblestone together, uh, getting literally the bread and butter of Minecraft. Uh, fortunately, we got some 
thing, but there's only, there's not a lot of food in these uh, early versions. You got pig meat, you got pork chops, you got uh, wheat for bread, and you've got mushroom stew. There's no chicken, there's no lamb, there's, uh, there's no steaks, like none of that is around at this point, which actually makes the game quite a lot harder. Hey, pumpkins. Pumpkins are not actually useful in any way, but I'm still going to harvest them. Maybe they'll come in useful later on when they actually introduce pumpkin pies and all that kind of stuff. Pumpkin pies weren't around. And you know, if I remember correctly, if you put them on your head, yep, but it's on backwards. Like, that's the front of me. Like, I don't know why this was a thing. Like, it seems so minor, but like, it's there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to remove this. And they don't even stop Enderman attacking you in this version because there's no Enderman either. So literally pumpkins have no use, but still. While we go on the hunt and I'm gonna explain what we're going to do, because I've already got really big plans for this base, this series. We're obviously going to be doing some survival building. We're also going to be doing some community stuff. I mean, when you see this, you got it. You gotta just, gotta do this, right? When you see it. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know, there's something about that. You, every time you walk past it, you've got to do it. Uh, so there's all sorts that I've got planned. So the base that I have in mind is a submerged city, and it's only possible to make in this version of Minecraft because water physics was different at this stage. So that's very, very exciting because obviously, like, I wouldn't be able to build this project uh, in, in, the in the most recent versions. Um, also, one thing that's pretty important to note is that uh, the terrain is different, like really, really different. We, I'm gonna grab some cobblestone and stuff, so don't mind me. Actually, we, we should do that on the first night. What we're looking for at the moment is snow, okay? I need snow blocks through the wazoo. I need so many snow blocks that uh, I, I, I still don't think like, even if I stay there for three days collecting snow, I wouldn't have enough. Right. So, a lot of you that have been around on the Java edition for a while uh, noticed that they changed boats in the last couple of years. Well, this is what boats used to be like, and they were a pain. And they stayed like this for five years. Boats were so glitchy for so long. And I am it gives me no pleasure being in this boat right now, but I still need to go and explore. This is a quite a nice area because we could do some projects up there. Basically, I need a really, I need a deep ocean to make what I want to make. Um, oh, and also something that we might come across is a fair amount of chunk errors, loading errors, like you can already see here. It, that's really common. So you can see all of the cave systems. We may even be able to see some diamonds. Snow! Oh, my answers have been my prayers have been answered. All right, so we got ourselves some wooden tools. Now it's time to start collecting this. Oh my goodness, this is gonna... They only drop one at a time? Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have to mine four bits of snow to get just one block. Mm, oh dear. So this is not going to... This is gonna take a really long time. Oh dear. I think we're on about day three or four, probably way more, uh, but I've collected a bunch of snow. Now, the calculation here is um, for every snow block, I harvested four snow on the ground. So basically, it's all of these added together times four is the amount I did. I spent at least an hour collecting snow. And then in the night, I collected some cobblestone. I died once, and then I had to go back. I'm not ashamed to admit it. It was really tough when you're overwhelmed and you got no armor. Um, but I have got a couple of good things that came out of it. I found out that there's snow right next to spawn, so we're going to head back there in case I die again, so I can just harvest it right near uh, the original place where you go. Um, there's no beds yet, so can't even do that. That's in the next update. Thank goodness. I think the spawn must be over here somewhere. There it is. There it is. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh. Ow. We've made it back to spawn. And I can fix something that's been bothering me. A creeper blew up. 
and ruined the part of the spawn, so let's actually repair that. I guess what we could do is make uh, like a little station uh, for like the, a community station so that when people uh, die, I guess we can like, we can make something here for getting people back on their feet or something like that. Heck yeah, now we're cooking. Right, so what I was going to do was fix this little thing that's been bothering me. So I've got four cobblestone staircase, but one there, one there. And how does this go? Uh, like that. There we go, fix the spawn. That was bothering me a lot. I'm probably gonna need a bit more actually. Did you die? Haha, -ha. sucks to be you. Wait a minute. Someone's base here. And the zombies. Oh, come on. Now's not the time. Ah, uh, I haven't got a sword. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give him the run around. Gonna eat these pork chops. There we go. He's a little bit slower. Maybe he can. They. He's not. He's not that. He is. The AI is so dumb in this version that he just ran straight in there. I like it. Right, let's go and see who this house is. I mean, we could probably just uh, stay in here for the night. Who is responsible for this tiny wooden shack? Is there a sign in here? No. Whose house is this? Oh, it's so basic. Ah. Um. What can we do? Let's uh, let's leave them a present. There we go. Oh, hello. Uh, this is one of the famous chunk errors that will be very, very common. So what we used to do back in the day, like there's actually blocks there. If I re-log, they'll uh, appear again. But I actually want to see if there's any useful blocks down there. I see a bit of redstone there, coal, coal, iron. Doesn't actually look that fruitful. Lots of lava. Let's see if there's any diamonds. I can't see any diamonds. Doesn't look like it's worth going down there. But what you can use these chunk areas for is to totally, totally legitimately look down and see if there's any diamonds for you to take. Ooh, two chunk areas. Let's see what we got down there. There's some diamonds and some eggs and some redstone. Please don't die. Always taking a bit of a risk because we don't know if there's lava this side. There shouldn't be. There we go. Here we go. How many diamonds are we talking? One. Only two. Only two. Two diamonds. I have found the perfect place. Finally. Well. It's not exactly perfect, but there's a deep bit of ocean. We're not too far from spawn, which is just over there, according to the compass. And there's snow. There's a few things that I'm not entirely happy about. One of them is that there's loads of ice there. And I'm kind of hoping I can get rid of it and maybe it won't come back. I don't really know. But um, I'm making the most of this little island. This is where we're going to make our very quick, like... Uh, temporary base for the time being while we work on the sub uh, Nautica style house type thing. So it's going to be a submerged build and it's going to be at quite a large scale which is why I've had to put all my snow in here and I mean I spent like two hours gathering snow and that is a really low amount. I really can't wait for snow golems to turn up and I think even in the next update uh, snow will give you a lot more snowballs when you uh, mine them or whatever So I guess what we need to do now is make a base. So I've already gone ahead and put some cobblestone in the furnace uh, It's building in this version like even if you place and make a base uh, It doesn't look very good because the textures for cobblestone in particular were not great uh, I mean, this is what cobblestone looks like. It's really, it's really quite intense. Uh, they changed that fairly quickly. I haven't actually got a pickaxe. Uh, I found a bunch of iron so we can get some tools and some armor and stuff. I got some seeds so we can start a farm. I've got loads of 
food, for staying alive. Uh, let me just offload a bunch of stuff for now. Right. Let's begin. So, what are we going to do? We've got this tiny little island. I probably want to fill that in or do something else with it. Maybe I, I probably will end up destroying this entire bit of the island, so I'm not going to build anything there. Uh, let's start by making a total square or rectangle and that will be the start of our temporary house I chose stone because it's it looks a bit nicer than cobblestone that's the main reason but I am going to be mixing in some cobble as well so survival building isn't quite as intense oh man I've used a full stack already I'm probably gonna run out Ah, well, we probably won't be finishing this base anytime soon because I'm going to have to make another trip into the mine. Um, now, if anyone follows my channel uh, on the building side of things, you'll know that we can't be having uh, we can't be having just a normal shape. So we've got to add a few little bits that jut out, which means removing this and turning it straight into cobble. You know, I probably should just stick loads of cobble in here. And I'm already out of stone. That's how far I got, and it's pretty pitiful if I say so myself. So I now kind of realize the pain that people go through when they follow a tutorial on my channel. Uh, because obviously I do everything in creative, unlimited resources, so I actually have no idea how much it actually takes to make anything that I, I do a tutorial on. Not in real terms, anyway. So I think, oh, this isn't too bad. But if that's two stacks of stone already, and I've already used all my cobblestone, it must take hours to do anything on my tutorial. So I guess I guess this is like an affor a formal apology. Uh, oh yeah, by my, my by the way, my plan here is to make uh, like a Hobbit hole style entrance. Ah damn, there's a cave right there. Right. Well, I'm going to be making a like cobblestone style Hobbit style entrance to my mine, which is why I'm adding a bunch of dirt here. It's all temporary. This island is just where we're going to spend our resource gathering days and it's going to be the base of operations while we're constructing the main thing, which is going to be obviously in the water. So that's why you've got to kind of get yourself established first, I feel. Hey, I've already been in here. Do you know what? I actually think I have a, an idea here. So what I want to do is I want to come down deep enough so that it's safe. And then what I think I'm going to do, instead of making like a, you know, normal Minecraft strip mine, uh, what I want to do is essentially create a giant square that I just go round and dig down and down and down every time. But I need to make sure I'm underwater enough so that I don't flood the place. Uh, and then eventually, like, we'll get, it'll get out of hand, I'm sure. And then eventually, like, it will become the pit, and it will become an actual place. And then I think we can turn it into something later on. But it's going to be a long time coming, so this is going to be a project for uh, an extended amount of time. So this is the start of the quarry, the pit, the whatever you want to call it. I'm going to make it a much bigger square. This is just the start. This is about 20 minutes of mining and a few broken pickaxes. Essentially, it's going to be much bigger and it's going to go straight down. Now, I've planned a little bit so that I can actually make the staircase go down here, have a little platform, and then it can go down there and it will make its way around. It should look really impressive. And I was actually thinking as I was mining what we could do with such a gigantic square hole. We could turn it into like a cliffside town or a gigantic temple. We could essentially carve a temple out of the mountain. There's lots of opportunities, but this is like a side project as a byproduct of the mining that we're going to need to do in order to make our base. So this is kind of just like a little build on the side sort of thing. So for the most part, it's just a quarry. But once we have that gigantic hole, which will take a lot of mining, then we can turn it into something. Uh, but for the time being, back up on surface world, we have a very incomplete start of a house. And I actually want to finish this as soon as possible, ideally. I gotta admit with you, I'm struggling a little bit to deal with uh, this build. I'm not entirely sure what to do yet. 
and I guess that's something that will come with time. Uh, for the most part, I've made it symmetrical, and I'm just gonna sort of chip away at it bit by bit, adding uh, a bit of staircase, a bit of cobble, give it a bit of texture. As for glass, uh, I'm gonna have to add some sort of window system. I've added a little pattern on the side of these pillars, like so. The roof is a whole different kind of story. No idea what I'm going to do there. I, I need to make this a lot taller if it's going to be sort of an impressive build. I wasn't going for a normal house. I was trying to make something different, but it's entirely experimental. And this texture really clashes with everything. Oh boy. So builds back then, back now, or whatever, back in beta, even if you made a really good looking thing, like the game kind of worked against you, the lighting didn't help you very much, the textures didn't help you very much, you had less uh, flexibility with things like cobblestone staircases, but in a weird way, it all worked. It all worked together really nicely. For some reason, it's just something- Oh, oh, you get away from my crops. Oh dear, I should probably put a fence around that. Uh, in a weird way, it all kind of fits together. It looks so nostalgic. I don't know how many of you have actually seen the beginning of Minecraft, but I've spent about three hours already, and this is the progress that I've got. I did think that I would make a little bit more progress on this than I have, uh, but... I think this is going to turn out to be an amazing series. We're going to start some fantastic projects and your input will be duly noted as we go on. I will be reading the comments. I'm very excited about this series. I'm very invested already. I was playing and I wasn't even recording, which I probably shouldn't do, but I was just enjoying myself quite a lot. I guess that's what Minecraft did and this is like reliving my early days. Especially all these things that give me a bit of nostalgia here and there. This is basically how I started with Minecraft. So, and I stopped playing survival basically before the full release. So, this is the Minecraft I know and love. The creative mode is basically a different game to me, almost. It's still a game that I love, but it's not, not what I'm doing here, that's for sure. So, I, I guess it's hard for me to convey the amount of uh, emotion that comes to playing this version for me. It's got, it's got a lot of memories and this is where I started my career, even if I didn't know it at the time. So, I guess this little island is where it's all going to begin. And hopefully we'll make something good out of it. No, don't you 